So we're gonna leave home, we're gonna go uh, to our study area outside Rochus Point. So I hope if the weather is fine, we're gonna work somewhere here, maybe four or five kilometers outside Rochus Point. This is Rochus Point. Okay, so we're gonna go somewhere around this area. We start with the multi beam so we do it for a couple of hours and then we do some help. And it's the same principle as during multi-beam survey. It illuminates some acoustic signal which goes at an angle towards the seabed and then it returns back through this cable go to your computer system. Okay? It's on a back scatter. There's no bathymetrical data. Because it's not possible of knowing the precise where you are at. like so basically it's used only for mapping seabed sediment types or for identifying some objects on the seabed for example shipwrecks or any other archaeological objects because we're still seeing the water or the noise. Yeah? So at 25 meters now. Right, we're nearly at, we're at 57 meter water level. We located about 25 kilometers off the Roches point and we're heading back towards Cork um, to continue with our, our ground truthing survey using grab samples. Right, so you correctly document what you've done. Yeah? So you're gonna use the 
sample log sheet on which you record essential information about your sampling station. Sampling equipment with say ship a grub. Today's date is what 25th of February 2010. What depth? Uh, can somebody touch? Uh, 23.97. meters. Right, latitude, longitude. Somebody wrote it down. Yeah. Like, can somebody try to describe just in your own words how would you describe this sample? So what we have here, we have two gravity cores. The one that the guys just unpacking over there is only like one or one and a half meter long, and this one I think is two and a half meter long.
is our first like box core sample, which we covered. You can see your uh, Sent the gravel. We have photographed the samples, student just described, and it was a package for further analysis. Use the hands. Brownie green. Ready. SVP to begin with, to get a, a speed velocity uh, starting off today, going into multi beam, seeing the different layouts of the beds um, overlapping to get a proper readout as the distance further out on the beam is a bit weaker. Uh, following on from that, we went to dig grab samples, learning the different types of grab samples, and was able to find in different locations the different sediment types that exist, and how we were able to characterize and examine each one and go from there and bring it back to the lab then for further studies to get a more detailed analysis of what each sediment area had. Uh, we also took into account um, plankton toe as a kind of a more marine biology kind of research uh, looking into kind of the different microorganisms that live within the water that we can't see with the naked eye but can kind of examine under a microscope. Have you done anything? Yeah, I think it was much better to see it in reality than learning it just in lectures because you remember the stuff better when you see it and uh, like seeing the site scan, scan zone or the different types of grab samples makes more sense you see it in reality. I mean, it's much easier to get um, to get a better idea when you go out and actually carry it out hands on and um, you remember it more you know like you take a lot more away with you than you would in lectures to actually go out and do it practically. Well, it's, de it's definitely been the best field trip so far like everyone everyone on board has been really nice and really helpful and um, yeah, it's been the best so far. It's been a good day out. I'm in the middle of Ireland, so I don't get to the coast too often, so it's great to get out on the sea and experience things, you know. So I you know, prefer I prefer offshore as well, it's very scenic, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. So offshore is the place to be. I knew the basics, but um, I know much more now. Like It's hard, it's tough when you're in a two hour lecture in UCC trying to take everything in, but you take more in here in 10 minutes here than you would in two hours in the UCC. So. That's me anyway, I don't know what everyone else.